All right, guys, so we got to talk about a woke California city, Palm Springs to be exact, uh, and their woke mayor and city council that have just voted to give transgender and non-binary individuals a UBI, a universal basic income. Now, we've seen a whole lot of these universal basic income programs popping up around the country, mainly on the left coast, like California. Uh, because they're, they're basically trying to prove that this concept of giving people free money works, okay? And the way they're doing it, right? They're not even doing it really based off need. They're doing it based off wokeness, okay? As a lot of these programs are giving money to people like, you know, women, black people, so-called minorities. And now you got the wokeness of the woke. <laughs> they're giving it to transgender, non-binary individuals. Not even like, you know, gay or lesbian. They just skipped all over that. Right, they're now just going straight to the woke of the woke, transgender and non-binary folks. Okay, uh, now the way this program is, is going to be set up here, the, the details is that um, they have voted to set aside two hundred thousand dollars to set up the program. Now the program is going to cost more than that, but the details are essentially that twenty transgender and non-binary uh, Palm Spring residents will receive free money funded by the taxpayer for 18 months with advocacy-based health center, DAP Health, and LGBTQ advocacy group Queer Works managing the program. So the city council is basically voting to uh, fund the development of this program, and there will be more money spent on it later, and then that money will basically be distributed and handled through these, these two woke entities, right? That's basically how it works. So we're going to talk about that. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that if you like my channel, you want to support my channel, you can do so using the links in the description below. You can support the Patreon, you can support PayPal, you can support the merch. There are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so. So that being said, we're actually going to play a clip from Tucker Carson uh, in which he's having a conversation with Mr. Jason Rance to discuss the details of this UBI program for transgender individuals taking place in Palm Springs, California. Take a look. There was a time in cable news not that long ago when we would spend every night debating tax rates or abortion or gun control. And no matter how you feel about those issues, there were two sides and you could sort of understand what the other side was saying. That's not where we are now. We are now in the final self-parodic stage of American neoliberalism where nothing makes sense, all is darkness, and the policies are just designed to hurt people. Another sign of this, Palm Springs, California says it will pay you to be something called non-binary. Jason Rance is a radio show host up in Seattle. He has that story for us tonight. Hey, Jason. Hey, Tucker. The, the country's wokest guaranteed income scheme is coming from Palm Springs, run by Lisa Middleton. This is the state's first transgender mayor. The plan is effectively meant to help prevent homelessness by giving 20 residents somewhere between $600 and $900 a month for nearly two years. And they can spend the money however it is they want. There's no strings attached. The only rule at this point is that the recipients have to be transgender, or pretend they're genderless or have multiple genders based on one's mood. Gender doesn't actually mean anything anymore and this is not something right. that really you can prove. So instead of primarily focusing on using this to end poverty, there's been this focus on paying for what's called gender affirming health care, which includes elective surgeries and hormone treatment. Now, the city hopes to use some of a $35 million budget set up by California Democrats to fund various pilot programs around the state. But big picture, this is really a movement by a group called Mayors for Guaranteed Income. They think that redistribution of wealth actually solves poverty. It's backed by folks like Jack Dorsey, who tried to ruin the world with Twitter. Now he said on another pretty dangerous idea. Here's one Palm Springs council member inadvertently pointing out that this is pretty much a huge scam. The bureaucracies that we've set up to fund poverty programs and to staff them um, are probably much more expensive than giving people the money who need it. Now, she goes on to point out that this is really just about getting the data necessary to prove that this whole scheme works. But much like the people it's supposed to help in Palm Springs, guaranteed income presents as a good idea. It's not actually a good one. And all the data seems to point out that it doesn't quite get us to the point of defeating poverty in a way that is efficient with the use of, uh, use of funding. It's just too expensive. Well, and of course, it just reflects elite concerns. I mean, you know, we had 100,000 people die of drug ODs last year. Like, why don't, you know, if we're passing out money, how about their families? No, they're not fashionable. 
Got to be non-binary. Yeah, not for treatment, of course. Whatever that is. Yeah. J- Jason Reyes, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker. Yeah. So my first thoughts about this when I heard this story is like, why the hell do I just identify as non-binary, <laughs> right? Why do I just identify as non-binary or transgender? Okay, if you're giving out free money to people based off uh, their gender, um, in which according to the left, you can just change it anytime you want based off how you feel, why in the world don't I just go out here and just identify as non-binary and sign up for this program? It's not like my actual life will change, right? It's not like I actually have to do anything different. I can just simply say, hey, I'm non-binary. Uh, I want to sign up <laughs> for this program, right? I'm eligible, right? And, and that's how silly a, a lot of this stuff is, okay, that is happening. Because I guarantee you, they can't prove or verify uh, whether or not somebody's actually <laughs> non-binary or transgender, okay? All you literally have to do is just say it and think it, then therefore you, you are, <laughs> right? And, you know, I'm kind of taking this uh approach with all of these universal income programs that are popping up that are woke that are for specific groups of people based off their their race or some other characteristic that really doesn't have to do with need to be quite honest with you right so like for example you know they uh, had a ubi for uh black women okay they're one of those programs out there why in the world can't i identify as a black woman (laughs) right why can't i identify as a black woman i'm a black male so i'm already black uh, I can be transgender, right? Because according to the left, we don't know what a woman is, right? We can't really define a woman. So why in the world can I just say, I'm a black woman, I should be eligible for this program. And if you say otherwise, then you're a transphobe and a bigot, right? And you're also racist, okay? Because if I was white and I was male and I said I was a black woman and they told me that I wasn't, then again, I can use all those labels, right? Because according to them, uh, my imagination determines my biology and who I actually am, Right? So that being said, I don't understand why, um, one, they're even doing this. Like, why do you do these programs that are specifically geared towards these group of people? Again, it is inherently divisive, to be quite honest with you. And two, you know, I think at this point, uh, people really should, for just kicks and gigs, start, like, just identifying, saying, no, 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 this is my identity. I identify as black, you know, Hispanic, whatever. I identify as some type of minority, uh, or identify as non-binary or whatever, just to be eligible for these programs, just just so you can be eligible, just so you can get some of the money, okay? Because at the end of the day, I mean, listen, I understand you wanted to do it to see if it works. I have no problem with that, right? I have no problems with, uh, you know, woke cities in California. If they want to take taxpayer money and, you know, do a UBI and see if it works, fine, whatever, right? That's their city, right? That's their city council. It, it, it is what it is. That's what their people voted for. But when you make it woke, when you start giving out money, again, based off things that really don't have anything to do with real actual need, uh, that's why I think you have a problem, right? That's why I think things are kind of getting out of control, okay? And you become discriminatory, and that is divisive. I don't understand how that's even legal, right? How can a city council fund giving money to people simply based off of their gender identity, okay? I I really don't understand. But hey, this is what they're doing. We'll see what happens. I mean, right now, they're they're just funding the creation of the program. And the program itself will cost a lot more than what they're actually uh, stating here. But we will see what happens. Okay, we will see what happens. But let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.